it just wouldn't be Abyssrium without the bugs, would it? Really wouldn't. So, there's some issues people have been having with the new event. What a surprise. Um, most of the bugs seem related to the uh, treasure hunt. And I think one of the biggest, the easiest ones to, to find and also to fix is when you're digging with the crab, a lot of people don't get compass pieces. And I think there must be some kind of flag that sets whether you can get compass pieces or not. Uh, one thing I did do, you can take pictures. I don't know if this really affected or not because I took the picture immediately. While I was trying to do the thing, I took a picture of the little crab friend. And I don't think this is required because I would assume that somebody would have note, like made a note and said if that's what fixed it for them. But people can't get the compass pieces from the crab. All you gotta do is just dig with the thing and they'll give you a thing. And one of the, the compass should be pretty common. I got it within like five or six tries. I thought it was guaranteed at first, but yeah. Um, and if you're having that bug where the treasure doesn't give you the thing, um, what people have done is just close the app, restart, and then it worked. And that seems to almost always fix the compass issue. And um, there's another bug with digging. Um, if the treasure pop-up appears, it does not seem to actually give you the treasure. So I got 10 pearls in my stream, um, like as a treasure. Like, oh, here. Uh, my pearl count is 667. Let's see if it gave it to me. It did not. So the, the pop-up comes up. If that treasure pop-up happens, it does not appear to actually give you the rewards. Um, somebody said it doesn't give them the gems either. Um, I don't know if that's the case. I, I didn't watch my gem count. But yeah, the, the pearls was such a neat reward and it doesn't actually give it to you. Um, that figures. Um, another nasty bug is related to the um, Barracuda. And I'm not entirely sure if this is just is an actual bug or just bad design. But a lot of people have a problem where they try to watch the Barracuda to get the treasure map. And it doesn't work. And so what you do to, to, to clarify uh, where that's... I don't want a photo quest. I hate the photo quest. Um, what you do, focus on the Barracuda. And you just let the game sit for about 10 minutes. Um, I've been told that you can move the camera around. Um, because somebody moved the camera a bit and they still got it so Unless you keep having trouble. I would let yourself pan around a little bit zoom all the way out I can't zoom out easily because I'm using a mouse, but um Yeah, and so what you do wait f about 10 minutes and wait a few more minutes And if you zoom around and you don't see um, there should be a swarm of Barracuda Including one gold one you want to take a picture of the gold Barracuda and it looks it, it looks different You'll notice it when you see it but um, some people just do that multiple times and don't get it. I had to do it three times myself. Um, and I don't know if that's necessarily a bug or they're just really hard to see or, you know, if people are like me and they don't want to touch the screen and so, like, they spawn behind the camera and you just don't notice them. Uh, but that's a major problem we've been having and there's a... Th I made a thread on Reddit. Uh, they actually have a new social media person who actually reads... And, and talks to people. So what I want to tell them is like, hey, the Marlin style unlocks where you have to take a picture of visiting fish, they're never fun, they never work right. There's always bugs with them and a lot of people go incredible lengths of time without getting them. The Stripe Marlin, people have played for six months, even about a year, never gotten them. People have been sitting for upwards of five hours just watching the screen, just watching the screen. They'll be watching a movie and have like the phone over at the side and they'll be looking over at it and they never see the marlin. It's such a bad unlock. It's a cute idea. I like the idea of the unlock, but it doesn't work. They just need to stop putting it in the game. And the Kraken actually seems to show up a reasonable percentage of the time, but the, uh, and it has a really small timer of the Kraken. Like I said, it showed up in less than five minutes for me when I unlocked the Kraken, or unleashed the Kraken if you prefer. But, um, the, the, the Barracuda gave me grief, and somebody in my Discord tried seven, I think the, the, the record is 11 attempts, which that's almost two hours. That is an unreasonable amount of time to have to waste on, on you know, a relaxing, fun mobile game that's supposed to, you know, lower your stress levels. That That's the, th the, the worst thing about the Marlin. Like, it, it's bad in general, but just, this is supposed to be a chill, calming, relaxing game, and it's just to cause us so much stress, and... If nothing else, it should be tweaked just because of that, in my opinion. 
But yeah, the Barracuda is buggy, and I, frankly, there's not a great deal you can do. Uh, I would say close and restart the app. <laughs> I would try a few times, because like I said, it took me three times. Uh, but if you try three times and you're sure it's been 10 minutes each time, uh, try close and restart, because that was, that's what fixes the compass bug. Okay, so I've been made aware since initially recording this video that some people are getting a bug where they take a picture of the golden barracuda, and if you share it, even it says, oh, this is my golden barracuda, and it doesn't give them the treasure map. Um, so if you get that bug, uh, there's probably nothing you can do. Uh, I've even heard that the gold barracudas stop happening, for some people at least, after they take that picture, but they don't unlock the, the map thing, so... Uh, if that happens to you, like I said, th there's really nobody who can help you I except for the developers. Which, by the way, that's generally the case with bugs. Either you can restart and maybe it'll work a second time, or if it's a really a major bug, then only the devs can fix it. Um, if there's a way around it, I always note that in my guides, especially on the written guides, because those are easier to edit. But, uh, <laughs> if it's just straight up a bug, uh, usually only the devs can help you with that and you gotta message them on Facebook. Some people report issues with having the 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 third quest thing for the Kraken. Just figures that every step of the way to get the Kraken, there's a bug. But um, I did not have. I, I haven't seen many people have this. I think you're probably just missing a fish if this happens, um, because I had trouble getting this, and then I noticed, oh, I didn't have the rum barrel parrotfish out. Also, somebody reported getting it without the key seahorse. I wouldn't personally bother too much. Like, I wouldn't... Like, if you have every fish but... Well... That's... Actually, that's interesting because... That would mean you'd get the whale. I guess if you buy the marmoset, you can get the whale without the key seahorse. But I, I wouldn't think too much of it. I would just plan to get all of them. Because I'm pretty sure the pirate ship whale is required. So... In a regular scenario, you not it's not even going to be in it, uh, a, a potential case anyway. Um, but yeah, that's... I think all the bugs people have had, um, nothing else. None of the normal ones are too buggy, fortunately. And yeah, the, the Kraken... Everybody was worried that the Kraken wouldn't appear. The Kraken seems to be the one visiting fish unlock that is extremely common. And I think th there's ways they could fix the Star Stripe Marlin. Um, they could do something where, what I've always suggested is that, hey, at the very beginning, um, 30 minutes, do a check. And then every, every time that the check fails, so like the first time it tries to check, after the first 30 minutes you've been playing, there's a 10% chance. Then if that check fails, it goes up to 20%, 30%, and eventually every 30 minutes there's a 100% chance the Marlin's going to show up. And so, if you played the game for six hours, you know, cumulative of having the app open, which I think is a rather significant amount of time, um, you would be guaranteed to see it. And even if you miss it, you're going to get it for sure again the next 30 minutes. And again, I don't think that 30-minute timer is a good thing. I think, you know, shorten it to 10, raise the odds every time it fails. It's just completely ridiculous that this is the game that the fish. This is the fish that the game launched with, and a lot of people are still missing it for the thousand-year-old blue whale, which launched like six months after the game. And people have been playing for the game for over a year and still don't have it. Man. That's that's real sad. And I I keep getting questions. I'm like unpaid support where people just constantly ask if there's ways to get the marlin. And if if there was a way, I would have told you. I even made a whole guide, and it's basically just debunking myths because there's no real. There's no way to get it for sure. There's just a bunch of things that don't affect whether you get it. Also, something I really like about the crab, it just gives you something to do. Like, to do the dig. Like, if you're not sure what to do, you can just do that. Because just tapping, if you don't have Song of the Moon up, just tapping. Which is the usual thing to do in a game like this. It doesn't really mean much of anything. Um, so that's... As far as I'm aware, that's mostly it for the bugs in this... It's not the worst set of bugs, but a lot of people have trouble with the quest, and it's a dang shame. And cl close the game. Uh, somebody even tried restarting their phone. I don't know if that's really necessary, but you could try closing the app first and then reboot the phone if it doesn't work after that. 
Um, he does that kind of Guy Fieri thing sometimes. The, the yeah, point of the... <laughs> I alarmed my cat with my Guy Fieri thing. Um, hi, Parker. Uh, but yeah, uh, just try a full reboot if it doesn't work. I, that really shouldn't be necessary, and I'm not sure it is, because most people, I think, just restart the app and it works. Yeah, that's the point. Uh, this is what I mean, the Guy Fieri thing. This is this gif. Why does he keep doing that? Oh, I think he does it the moment when he cancels the dig. I know he does it. I don't know why he does it. Anyway, he's just watching too many Guy Fieri gifts. Um, so yeah, that, that's it for the bugs. And since I get, I keep, I need to remove the, I'm, since I thought of it, I'm gonna remove these right now, actually. But the, these, the, this dog statue, uh, and this octopus, these are from an event. And I'm gonna move them off screen so I stop getting questions about them, sorry. I think they're cute, but people keep asking how do you get the thing, and I just have to tell them no, you, you can't. That's not, a, that's not a thing you can do. So I'm just gonna move Octopus Friend. Hi Kraken. What's Kraken? Uh, put him there. It's there. There we go. Out of sight, out of my- oh, I better move the crab too. <laughs> Sort of an unfortunate side effect of having my tank be very popular or very frequently viewed. I get a lot of questions that I just have to say, nope, it's an event thing. You can't, can't has. Do those show up in the expand list as like, oh, missed, you missed this event? I don't think they do because I don't think the Valentine's Day event things showed up in here um, until you got them. So yeah. I guess that's why people are confused. Because the event fish, you can look in your managed fish and you're like, oh, well, why does he have some kind of m weird marmoset creature? Oh, it's because of this. Anyway, also, every once in a while, like, there's not many of these people, but uh, I would say maybe like 1 in 20 people like, oh, or honestly more like 1 in 100, uh, considering the amount of comments I get. But some people are like, oh, isn't, aren't the events too easy now? I liked the events when they were impossible. And it's like... Aside from the Valentine's Day event and the spring one, the events were always this easy. They were all, in fact, they were easier than this one. Uh, there's this, there's this meme running in, uh, since the Valentine's Day event only, and I think it's really rooted in trying to defend the devs for the Valentine's Day thing. I don't know why people are still doing that, because it's very clear that the devs realize they screwed up, and they've gone back, and they made the game actually good again. And it's just, there's no reason to try to defend the extremely bad Valentine's Day event, but people are like, oh, is, isn't this too easy now? Because you're you're beating the events in one day. It's like, I'm I'm Sir Tap Tap, and I make the guide that everybody uses to play this game. If I if I don't finish the event in one day, there's going to be a bunch of real confused people, and they're going to fill every single inbox that I have, asking me how to do things. I save up my event currency specifically so I can have. A, a video on the first day that I can um, expressly for that purpose if you're watching me and you think things are too easy uh, there's a lot of people that don't finish these events even that use my guides uh, there's a lot of people that just barely make it and I've heard from a lot of people that they would never get anywhere in this game without my help and I I'm really glad to help people like that but the thing is you're watching somebody that a I probably play, uh, I don't really play this game outside the events, but I, I've i played this game more than, you know, 95% of people. I, even though I'm not active, I always try to make sure I have enough candy that I can buy all the stuff at the beginning of the next event. So I'm deliberately trying to beat it in one day, so that's why I usually beat it in one day. Um, and the thing is, if I struggled with an event, if I found an event just nearly impossible, those 95% of people that have played less than me, um, those those people that don't look up my guides, those people that don't have multiple hours per day to dedicate to a cute little fish game, they're never going to complete the events. It's going to be actually impossible. Like, if I'm struggling, a lot of people just won't finish at all. And a lot of people already don't finish. Uh, a lot of people, even they use my guides, they're like, oh, hey, I got I got the orca, thanks a lot for helping. I couldn't beat this one, but I'm looking forward to the next one, and stuff like that. It's just, <laughs> if you want a game that's, you know, unenjoyable and slow, 
Um, I would recommend that Pokemon Quest I, I played on a live stream uh, last week, <laughs> frankly. That's one of those games with that uh, energy mechanic where if you, you play five times, you have a little bit of fun and the game just slams the door on your toe and is like, hey, get the heck out of here. Come back in six hours, maybe, you stupid, dumb, ugly loser. Uh, leave. You're not allowed to have fun anymore for a while. I, I, I just can't stand that stuff. I can't stand it. Uh, and I'm really glad that this isn't one of those games. And I'm glad that the Hermit Crab, like, it seems like they want it to be one of those games with the Platypus. Because the Platypus was basically slamming the door on you for three hours. Um, but the Hermit Crab is kind of like, hey, you can get a large amount of candy every 24 hours by using this thing. And there's some stuff to do in between using it. And there's still the normal game to play in between that. And this is just a much happier medium than anything they tried to do with the Valentine's Day event or the spring event. The problem with the spring event is that they didn't want the Song of the Moon, but they had no replacement for it. So it was just insanely hard for no reason. Anyway, that's... <laughs> I didn't mean this to be this long for just like a bug fix thing, but I got... I got talking, and you know how that goes. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I hope you don't get those bugs, but if you do, restarting usually seems to fix them. Uh, this is a buggy game in general, so if this is your first event, totally common for you to do a thing exactly right and it, for it to not work. And usually, I would say, if you do a thing and it, and it doesn't work and you're sure it was right, close the game, start it up, do it again. Very often, that'll fix the problem. I don't usually mention if I have minor trouble getting a thing to work, because I just expect it. I just expect a little bit of buggery. Not that kind of buggery, but kind of that kind as well. It's just, it's buggy. But yeah. <laughs> um, tap tap, sign out, I guess.